Today is a John Suat's birthday. If you were still alive, you'd be 103. And we still think of him because we owe this place to him. It was because of his foresight that he decided it would be good to have a place where people could practice, a place where people from all backgrounds could come and practice. Find the peace and quiet, find the right atmosphere, find the right teaching. In other words, have good conditions for the practice to grow. Up to that point, he'd been in suburban houses that they'd tried to convert to monasteries. And no matter how much you try to convert a suburban house into a monastery, it just doesn't work. So we found this place. And as he said, one morning as we were going out for alms round, the first year I was here with him. He said, ten years in America, and finally found a place where it's good to practice. They walked for a few more steps, and he said, well, even in Thailand, there's no place as good as this. So we've got conditions right here, things to practice. So let's make the most of them, because that's how we show our gratitude. Think about the Buddha on the night of his passing away, the devas were playing celestial music, throwing down celestial flowers and celestial incense, singing celestial songs. And the Buddha said, that's not how you sh show proper respect for the Tathagata. The best way to do that is to practice the Dharma in accordance with the Dharma. Whatever the Dharma teaches, that's why, what you try to do. Wherever your habits go against the Dharma, you don't blame the Dharma. You say, well, there must be something wrong with me. Because the Dharma shows you the way to put it into suffering. And your ways up to now have been creating suffering. That's something you have to admit when you come to the practice, that you need some new insights, need some training. And you see that you benefit from it. Because the training is not here just to, for the sake of forcing you to do things. It's here for you to explore the possibilities that you can learn new habits, overcome your old habits that are causing you suffering, learn the new habits that will put an end to suffering. That's what the path is all about. So think about that. Here's your opportunity. Opportunities like this don't come along all the time. It's taken the work of a lot of people to maintain this place, find it, set it up, maintain it. Now it's up to us to maintain it, both outside and inside, especially inside, because after all, it's the practice that it's the purpose of this place. And the practice means basically looking at your habits, seeing where they're causing suffering, realizing okay, anything that's causing suffering is something you've got to abandon. And you look inside for the cause. All too many people look outside. This person is a problem, that person is a problem, this situation, that situation. If you spend all your time talking to yourself about that, you don't have any time to look inside and say, well, actually the problem is coming from within. This doesn't mean to say that everything outside is perfect, but the Buddhists teach you how to find happiness in an imperfect world. In some cases, you do what you can to help clean up some of the imperfections. That's what generosity is all about. But you have to realize the real work is inside. The real problem is inside. That's where the work has to be done. But fortunately, you can develop the qualities, and this is what the Dharma is for. It points out the way. Think of the Buddha's example. He gives him directions to say to Rajagaha. And some people follow the directions, and other people wander out west, wander out east. They don't follow the directions. Well, the Buddha's done what he can. And it's up to you to decide whether you want to get to that place or you want to wander someplace else. And for the tendencies you have that want to wander someplace else, you have to look at them carefully. Exactly what's speaking in there. Is it something that's on the side of putting an end to suffering, or is it going to create more suffering? You've got to sort things out inside. And so it's because of people like John Sawat and his teachers and the people who supported this place, and his teachers, teachers, and so on, back to the Buddha, that we have this place to practice. We have this opportunity to practice. So we show our gratitude to them by making the most of it.